Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I've got here a Vauxhall Combo van, which is basically a Peugeot Partner van or Citroën Blingo, it's the same model, just rebadged. Okay, so if I use my Launch UK Eurotap 3 scan tool here, I'm going in as a Peugeot for this. I just find it more reliable to do it like that. And we've got this code P20E8. So I'm going to ignore this one at the minute. This is the one that we're concentrating on. And if we go to data stream for this, we need to find out what's causing that issue and what does you need to do to fix it. So we're going to look at the bleed status, pressure of the urea fluid, and the operating status. Now let's just switch the engine off, ignition on. So it's on standby, ready, and we've got a four bar pressure. Now that can be confusing on these. It did confuse me the first time I seen one because you would assume well we've got four bar of pressure so it's the tank is working but it's not it doesn't read anything below four so you need to get up around five and a half to six bar of pressure and that's how you know it's working so once the engine's warmed up if we hold the revs for a couple of minutes to get the engine warmed up we've got a flashing smoke symbol down there and a spanner engine management light also on down there there's no mileage countdown on this which is a bit surprising so if we hold the revs up for a couple of minutes we should see, come on here, pressurization phase. And once once the pressurization phase comes on, we should see this jump up to five and a half to six bar of pressure. If that doesn't move, it means that your pump is not working in the AdBlue tank and you need to replace it. Most of these vehicles, you do just need to replace the entire tank. Okay, so this one doesn't even seem to be pressurizing. Oh, there you go. It's started to pressurize now. Got the pressurization phase on. Now with the pressurization phase up, it's on pressurizing phase two. You can see that's still flashing and we're not getting any movement of the pressure there. It's really silly really. It doesn't read anything below four bar. So really you've got zero pressure in there. Even if you disconnect the, the AdBlue tank, you'll still read four bar of pressure. This has to come up to five and a half to six bars of pressure, like I said before. That's how you know you've got a working tank. So you'll see there it'll try multiple times to pressurize the tank until it gives up. This one has done 38,000 miles. Okay, so that's it. One diagnostic on that one. And now we've got the next one to pull over here. So I'll see you on the next video.